some pieces of paper, a pen or pencil, 30 or so sticks, and a deck of cards. Some or all of these things may be used today. Here we are in the maximum dimension. And our game today is one of my favorites. Now to play along, you'll need a pen or something to write with, and three pieces of paper. Now, if you want to save paper, you can simply take one piece and tear it into thirds. We're going to number the pieces of paper, so follow along with me. On the first piece of paper, we begin with the number one. Turn that piece of paper over and write the number two. Set that aside. On the next piece of paper, the number three. Turn that over and put the number four. Set that piece of paper aside. On the final piece of paper, the number five. And no big surprise, on the other side, the number six. Now arrange those pieces of paper onto the table in front of you so that the two is over to your left, the four is in the middle, the six is to your right. Good. I want you to mix the pieces of paper. Don't turn any over just yet, but mix them around into a new order. I won't look. All done? So now these numbers are in a brand new arrangement, and I want you to turn over the piece of paper in the middle. Turn that over. Good. And at this point, you have three numbers that even you didn't know you'd be having. Add those numbers together. And now you have a secret total. And we're going to use that total to play a musical game involving a list of songs numbered 1 to 15. Remember the song that falls at your number. Good. Now you're thinking of a song, your secret song, and I want you to send that song to me. Concentrate on the melody. Concentrate. Concentrate. I should have known. I didn't know you were musically inclined. Well, I saw This is a whole other side of you. Music from a glass. That is so cool. Actually, I was preparing for a conundrum. Oh, well, don't let me interrupt you. That's incredible. You're so talented. And why is that incredible? Well, because this has nothing to do with numbers. It doesn't. It does? Regard these glasses. They're identical. 
They give off different notes according to the ratio of liquid to air in each one. The more liquid, the lower the note. Why'd you stop? This is brilliant. You can't miss. Wait here. What? And miss my bowling league? That was a joke, right? I'll be back in a flash. Yes. Hey, look out. Sorry. What's up with her? Well, apparently she's been inspired again. That's always good for some excitement. What kind of drink is that? Oh, I was preparing a rather intriguing problem. Like to give it a try? Absolutely. Excellent. In addition to these three glasses, I'll need three empty glasses from the puzzle boxes. You got it. Hello, Benjamin. Ah, oh, gee, Pie. What took you so long? Very funny. Are you ready for the question? Of course I am. But I'd like to make a deal with you. A deal? If I answer this question correctly, I'd like you to give me exactly what I asked for. No practical jokes. Do we have a deal? Mm, here's the question. How much sand can you put in a seven liter bucket full of sand? That's easy. No, wait. You can't put any sand in a bucket full of sand. <laughs> so the answer is none. Thank you. Now, what do you need from the puzzle boxes? Okay, Pi, this is really easy. Mm. I need three empty glasses. I glasses. Water glasses. Water. No! Splish splash, my mistake. Thank you. Ta-ta. Careful with those. They're crystal. The challenge is to rearrange the glasses so that they alternate. Full, empty, full, empty, full, empty. That's easy. Hold it. Now, you see, there are different ways to approach this task. For example, here's a solution that involves moving the glasses in pairs and using only three moves. Watch. That's one move. That's the second move. That's the third. They alternate. That's really good. Yes, it is rather nice, isn't it? Unfortunately, it doesn't solve the problem I'm posing for you. Your challenge is to start with the same condition, mm -hmm. three full, three empty, and rearrange them into that alternating condition by moving only one glass, one time. One glass, one time. Now it doesn't seem so easy, does it? All right. Uh, no. Um. No. Uh, this is a good one, Max. I know I've said this before, but I really got our ticket to the big time. I knew if I would just keep on hanging around this wacky place, I would luck into something. Max, we're on our way. On your way where? Haven't you heard? Max and I are putting a band together. A band? Like with music? We are. I agree to no such thing. Oh, but you will. You will. You and me, Max, together? You know what we're going to do? We are going to take the world by storm. Less is more. Now, do you have any tattoos? We can showcase them and just cut no. out. No. Are you really starting a band, Max? Of course not. You can have your own tour bus and sell t-shirts and hats. And millions of CDs and yeah. sell out concerts all around the world. We can be famous. It all sounds terribly exciting, but I'm afraid I have prior commitments. Max. Haven't you always dreamed of walking down the street and suddenly everybody stops and freaks out because they realize it's you? 
No. So what instrument do you play, Max? Uh, keyboards, guitar, saxophone? I don't play an instrument. He plays these glasses. What? Like this? No, 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 no. Like this. Anyway, he can show you. Wait till you hear the song I'm putting together. Come on, Max, show me. All right. All I was doing was merely combining tones to create a harmony in which I could perhaps find myself. If we get this band together, you can find yourself on the cover of Rock and Roll magazine. That doesn't sound much like a song. Wait till you hear this. I heard something floating through the air. It was a beautiful sound. It was a everywhere. You and me, Max, we can shoot for the stars. You and me together, we can really go far. And with things all around, we'll be the talk of the town. You and me together. You and me together. Whoa. Wow. Where'd you learn to sing like that? In the shower like everybody else. Did you hear that, Max? Max! Did you hear how great we are? You really were, Max. You and Sam are going straight to the top. I'm not partial to heights. Now, can we get on with our game? All right. If it's convincing you want, it's convincing you will get. Now, where were we? Why don't you want to be a part of Sam and her music? Music means many things to many people, Benjamin. Samantha knows what she likes. I know what I like. Now, how are you coming along on rearranging those glasses so that they alternate full, empty, full, empty, full, empty? Well, I've been trying. I don't think it can be done by only moving one glass. Ah, but it can be done, and the solution is pleasingly devious. I love music, don't you? Mm-hmm. If only I could play the trumpet or the cello, I could be in Samantha's band as well. Have you figured it out? Well, I've tried every glass, and it's impossible. I can't do it by only moving one glass, but I can do it by moving two. That's quite good. In fact, it's very close to the real solution. Would you like to see it? Well, I hate giving up too soon, but I know you've got a trick to it. <laughs> can I see it? Let's take a look. We'll begin with our starting order. Mm -hmm. Now, you'll recall that's three full glasses, three empty. Right. The challenge, to make them alternate by moving only one glass. Watch. One glass. They alternate. Oh, I was looking at the objects themselves, not what was in the objects. <laughs> That's why I like this one. It's sort of like music, you know? It has patterns and sequences and numbers, and yet the end result is so playful. Hey, that reminds me of a trick my uncle taught me. Would you like to see? Certainly. Well, I'm gonna need this hat, and the only other thing I need is a regular glass of drinking water and a straw. I'm sure Pi will be happy to accommodate you. I hate asking Pot for water. All right, I'll go down with you. I'm anxious to see this one myself. <laughs> you make it look so easy. All right, now the challenge is to drink the water without touching the glass. Now, the easy way for me to do it would be to use a straw, but this will make things a bit more difficult. Indeed it will. All done. What? 
I drank all the water. How could you do that? This is a solid table. Gotcha. <laughs> Very clever, Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? What's the matter with you? My career is over. My dream is dead. What are you talking about? I called every record producer in the phone book. Not one of them was interested in a complete unknown like myself. They all said I need an angle. Like a weird guy playing water glasses wasn't enough for them. So you're just going to give up? Well, what's the use of continuing if no one's going to listen to me? I made a demo tape of our song. Here, I made you a copy. Samantha, if you love music, if it speaks to you inside and makes you happy, then you shouldn't give up. I love music, I really do. I thought it would be our chance to change the world. Change the world? Yeah. Everyone listens to rock stars. It would be great. Max, this was the best idea I've ever had. Was it? It was pretty good. I mean, you and Sam in a band? I could be the guy in charge of your lights. What does it matter anyway? My journey to become a musical legend is over before it's begun. No, it's not. Come on, I'm going to do something musical with you. Like what? Ben, you're in on this too. But I don't play an instrument, unless you count the kazoo. <laughs> this is not going to require even such a specialized skill as that. All we need is a deck of playing cards. Cards? For a musical routine? The man was playing water glasses earlier. If he wants to use playing cards, let him use playing cards. Okay. Okay. Shuffle the cards. Okay. Now, you see, even that is almost musical. We're going to begin as if we were playing a game of poker. You're going to deal out four hands of cards, five cards each. What does poker have to do with music? Okay. Humor me. So I've got one hand for me. One hand for you, one hand for Samantha, but who's the other hand for? Oh, don't worry about that. You're the maestro. Put the rest of the deck aside. Good. Now what are you doing? Well, I'm turning away to keep things fair. How do we know that you don't have a little mirror hidden over there? Okay, I'll close my eyes. Uh, I don't believe you. You can probably see through your eyelids. All right. Here. Oh, blindfold. Good idea. Now, this won't affect the music, will it? Uh, not unless you blindfold my ears. Okay. Satisfied? Yeah. All right, Benjamin. Yes. Pick up one of those poker hands. Any one. All right. Mix those five cards thoroughly. And now, peek at the top card. Don't show it to Samantha. That's your secret selection. Okay. Remember it. Then put it back on top. Mm hmm Pick up one of the groups on the table. Right. Drop it on top of the cards in your hand. Okay. Pick up another group. Drop it onto the cards in your hand. Okay. Pick up the last group and drop it on top of all. And then put all of the cards in your hand onto the rest of the deck. Now, in an ordinary card trick, at this point, the magician would find the card. But I want this to be very special. So, Samantha, you're going to do it. I am. This I gotta see. Actually, I'd like to see it myself. Do you mind if I take this blindfold off? Sure, you might as well, because I have no idea how I'm going to do this card trick. Okay. We're going to find the card by a process of music. Mm -hmm. Me, 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 me. Who are you, done yet? Okay, all right, yes. Anything in particular? Well, we need a song that's uh, relatively simple. How about Yankee Doodle? That is a good one. You're going to sing Yankee Doodle, and you're going to deal one card for every beat of the song. Like I was tapping along? Yes. OK. Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his cap and called it macaroni. OK. You have a secret card. Yes. For the first time, what card was that? The Six of Diamonds. The Six of Diamonds. Turn over the last card you dealt. Hey! That's my card. I did a magic trick by singing. How did I do that? Well, it's got something to do with the rhythm of the song, right, Max? 
Yes, you see, many songs are written in 4-4 four, four time, which means that the beats come in sets of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony. Stuck a feather in his cap and called it macaroni. But how did you know when to say stop? Well, in most 4-4 four, four songs, there's a natural pause after the first four sets of four. It's almost like the music decides to, to wait a second to catch its breath. And we counted to 4-4 four, four times. That was the 16th card. Right. That's incredible. I did a magic trick. Don't go away. You have one more chance to play the game we started with. Ready? Let the game begin! On the first piece of paper, we begin with the number one. Turn that piece of paper over and write the number two. Set that aside. On the next piece of paper, the number three. Turn that over and put the number four. Set that piece of paper aside. On the final piece of paper, the number five. And no big surprise, on the other side, the number six. Now arrange those pieces of paper onto the table in front of you so that the two is over to your left the four is in the middle, the six is to your right. Good. I want you to mix the pieces of paper. Don't turn any over just yet, but mix them around into a new order. I won't look. All done? So now these numbers are in a brand new arrangement, and I want you to turn over the piece of paper in the middle. Turn that over. Good. And at this point, you have three numbers that even you didn't know you'd be having. Add those numbers together. And now you have a secret total. And we're going to use that total to play a musical game involving a list of songs numbered 1 to 15. Remember the song that falls at your number. Good. Now you're thinking of a song, your secret song, and I want you to send that song to me. Concentrate on the melody. Concentrate. Concentrate. 